hope you are doing well so today in this video we are going to learn how to handle a back press with the help of navigation graph if you notice that within our activity main we are using a tag called default nav host is equal to do means it is going to handle a back press manually just simply run the app and notice uh, how a back press is handled I am screen 1, go to screen 2, go to screen 3 and go to screen 1. Now I press back, it will me to screen 3, screen 2, screen 1 and our activity closes. Now I set this flag to false. Now see what happened. Screen 1, screen 2, screen 3. Screen 1, now I press the back button. So you have noticed that it is not going to handle a back navigation. So this particular default nav host is equal to true means it is going to maintain a stack of the fragment addition and pop whenever we press a back button. So okay, so I think you are getting the information of that particular tag. Now our next task is I again add to true and again try to run this app. Screen 1, screen 2, screen 3, I press a back, go to screen 2, screen 3. Okay. Now my next task is whenever I go from screen 1 to screen 3 and now I change from screen 3 to screen 1. Okay. I say screen 3 to screen 1. Now whenever I press a back button, I want to finish that particular activity and don't want to go to screen 3 again. So how we can do this? Just simply go to our nav graph. Click on screen 3. Now we have some go to our action. Now we have something called a pop behavior. What does a pop behavior mean? Whenever I press a back, it will remove a last fragment from stack and pop it. Okay. Now I need to change my pop behavior to navigation screen 1 and it will be inclusive. Inclusive means uh, remove the intermediate fragment within that part. As we are reach here to screen 3 with screen 1, screen 2, screen 3. Now whenever I reach to screen 1 and I don't want this particular fragment to be visible. 1 or 3 to be visible again. Okay. Now check what will happen. Then screen 1, go to screen 2, go to screen 3. Now if I press a back button, go to screen 2, screen 1. Okay. Now again try it. Screen 1, screen 2, screen 3. Now from screen 3, I have a condition that I will need to go to screen 1 and pop it inclusive. Okay. Go to screen 1. Now see what will happen if I press a back button. So you have noticed that all the intermediate fragments are replaced with the help of this particular pop tag. Okay. So that much for this video. I think you are usually aware that how we can handle a back press and a pop back operation. So this much for this video. In next video, we are going to learn how to pass data between a fragment with the help of safe arcs. So stay tuned and happy loading.